in response to the overwhelming success of Australian birds Roy and HG have shot comes the Book of Whoops, 117 full colour photos of the ones that got in the way, including the southern right whale, the stupid big red, the Tasmanian tiger, Lefty the bush cat, and assorted snakes, buffalo, horses, sheep, dogs and koala bears. The Book of Whoops is a book for all the family, with loads of laughs on every page. Hi, I'm Tim, Tim Zura, the world's only leg spinning keeper. While I love rolling my arm over and catching them, when I really want to relax, I read Roy and HG's funny shooting books. My favourite one is the book with the stuff they shoot accidentally. It's great. The Players Theatre presents The World of Ian, with Paul Suenan as Ian, Lisa Forrest as Susan, Cole Joy as Ian's dad, Greg Matthews as Ian's friend Cole, Annette Shunwar as Susan's friend Deirdre, and Ted Mulry as Bob the Neighbour. No, no. Come on in, Bob. Hi, everyone. It's such a great day and we've got so many plans. You tell them, love. Well, we're going to knock down the wall between the kitchen and the veranda and create a really big space and... Extend the veranda by... 2.5. 2.5 metres and have a sort of... Outdoor-indoor area. And the colours, wait for it. Mm, heritage, all through. <laughs> Brunswick Green and Sierra for the outside with salmon and buff trim. And the kitchen will definitely be buffed coral. Or a pine nut. Oh, Bob, we decided last night. You remember? After we played the magic flute in Dreamtown? Speaking of it. Insatiable. That's why I love you. I know. See you later, gang. More tea, Susan? No, thanks. Well. I got some things to do outside. I think I might repot the azaleas. Oh, Ian, I'm so depressed. I know, Suze. So am I. Ian, do you love me? I do love you, Susan. I love you like sitting in the summer's breeze. Like having a dozen oysters in a real pretty park. Like, like, I do love you. Will you marry me? Oh, Ian. Yes. Australians, you've sat in the bleachers for long enough. And now it's time to strap on the boots and blow your trumpets. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another trumpet. I am a train buff. I am a train nut. I love it here. Zigzag Railway, near Lithgow, New South Wales. Trumpet-wise, the whole bloody band is here. The whole bloody band is here on the toot real loud. Roy, what's the Zigzag Railway story? Zigzag Railway story. Well, the pioneers, when they brought their first locomotive through here in about 1860, they had a problem, i.e. impasse. What do we do? Just run the bloody thing over the hill? Or do we try to work out, devise another way of getting it down the hill? What they did, they devised the Zigzag Railway. And those two letters, Z and Z, in the zig and zag, demonstrate precisely what went on. Train comes along, uh, you take a little bit further out, and then, boom, you change the line, down it comes. You change it again, boom, down it goes. And you can see the viaducts. If we took this route that we're on here, this level we're on here, on the top of the mountain, right around, then you're back down, you date first, down over those viaducts, then you front first there into uh, what, what, uh, what uh, is Lithgow, which is the gateway, as I mentioned, to the Central West. This is the Zigzag Railway, constructed 1860, lasted right through till about uh, the turn of the century when people lost interest and it became too bloody boring. The, uh, the pioneers of rail, they, they knew what they were doing, and you can tell here at the Zag. I call it the Zag. Yeah, the only bloody thing they didn't invent was the tunnel. That well, was, that comes later. What, yeah, that's what blew this away. That's what blew it, it made this uh, hole. No, obsolete. But still, the band's still here, and we're still playing. Coming up next on ABC TV is Clive Hale and his bed flute in a bucket of flounder. Yes, welcome back to this sporting life. And now it's time for Picture This, uh, the competition that has electrified Asia. Last week, Roy set you a genuine A grade stumper. Roy, take us through it before we pluck a winning entry yep. from this bright red barrel behind us. Okay, yes, the question was pick the difference. Who's the odd person out of these four? Odd a. Thing out. 
Louis the Fifteenth Chair B, Keith Miller C, Art Nouveau Table D, Leather Recliner. And the winner is, I pulled it out, <coughs> Peter Rich of Merriweather in New South Wales. That's yes, in the yes. Newcastle area. Yes, and he says, uh, leather recliner, it's the only modern object. I, I, I accept that. In fact, it was that uh, the others were all antiques. No offence, Keith Miller. It's called humour. And this week we move on for a bundle of fabulous prizes. I think yep. tonight we break the billion dollar mark. Uh, Kevin Jacobson's left behind a fabulous chorus line yep. hat. That goes at the same time with the Royan HG hat. It's all coming your way. The Royan HG cassette. Mm. I think it's pound for pound that yep. one. Kev also left a fabulous chorus line t-shirt. Yep. It's coming your way with the one you asked for. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Bums! Get a look at them! Bums! They're yours for some lucky listener and viewer who can yep. sort this conundrum out. OK, picture this. Spot the odd person out of these. A, Don Burrows. B, 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 Peter Eath, the Rocket. C, Greg Norman. Or D, Ken Doan. It's a This Sporting Life special. Send your answer to... Picture this. ABC TV, This Sporting Life, GPO Box, 994, Sydney 2001. Good and luck with it. That fax number 02, dot, dot, dot. Fill yep, out the rest of yourself. Yep. Now, last night, I was never more proud than... Uh, well, I've never been more proud than last night when I was part of a boycott of the Logies, there were three of us. There was Roy, myself, and baby John Burgess, and we boycotted the Logies for one simple reason, that there is not a category of Logie for game show hosts. Congratulations, baby John. Right on, man. <laughs> that was a highlight of the Logies for mine. But, Roy, you've plucked one from the uh, tape for us. Yes. Take us through it. Well, there was uh, two highlights. The David Dixon, uh, you know, stiff leg bum dancing. This is the Just other. Look at Stan here. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you can see why with real life, Stan's only ever allowed to be fixed in one spot. You don't I give him any objects to muck around with <laughs> because he buckers them up. Butterfingers, but a delightful bloke and a, and a tremendous winner. But of course, it was all winners. I think the ABC was the biggest winner last night. I think the ABC scooped every category, every oh, category, yes. including gold when you consider the Ray. Our tip, yes. Ray, yeah, our it, tip. We gave it to you last week for nothing. Ray, X ABC. Yes. All ABC. Look, I was disappointed with the dry nature of the do. I, yes. I, I enjoy a tearful uh, acceptance speech from every other acceptance, uh, you know, every other winner. And last night, we hardly got a teary eye at all. Mercifully, uh, George Negus, who we found out in the foyer dribbling, yes. uh, you know, with a lump of <laughs> sort of carroty, sort of bumpy substance on his tie. Well, George took his own gear in. Yeah, no, he but that's George. Of, yeah, he had a 44-gallon yeah. drum shoved down his pants. He had a hose <laughs> coming out of the top. There was a funny uh, Groucho Marx-style glasses gear up here and the hose, a bit of green Nylex sort of gear yeah. was shoved straight in the mouth. Why can't there be an award for weatherman? With a well, person, you know, Brian Bury. And what does Adriana Exanities have to do to win yeah. a Logie? I mean, there's only one category, Letter Turner. Yeah. I don't think there's another person. Well, she must win it hands well, down. Well, no, it'd, time. Be, it'd be wood, wouldn't it? The wood category. The wood category. <laughs> the wood category. Why doesn't Nikki Buckley off oh, of a century have a go at that? I want one that Adriana can win. And I think the Logie people have to look to it and make yeah. sure there is one that Adriana can win. She's turned over a million letters. 